Well, waste is a massive challenge in Australia and globally. And that's not just recycling, it's redesigning, rethinking the way that we collect, we process, we reuse, as well as recycle uh, everything. And I think the green ceramics is a very good case in point. You know, you've got some fantastic research that's occurred, and also at the other end, uh, customers who would genuinely like to uh, take that technology and apply it to minimise landfill, but also to get commercial return out of it. And it's really up to the government to kind of create the supply chain that enables that to happen, both in terms of regulations and in terms of proper connectivity between researchers and end customers. And it's through that that you really get the kind of jobs creation, business creation, circular creation, if you like, uh, of new types of economy and new businesses and new industries. Products manufactured through our green ceramics microfactory have ended up in the latest residential apartments, community spaces and even exhibitions We don't see waste as a problem. We actually see it as an enormous economic opportunity. Through the science of micro-recycling developed at the Smart Centre, a variety of microfactory modules have been developed in partnership with industries and stakeholders to industrialise this process. I look at examples, I think, of what's happening in Europe where there are rubbish trucks that have 11 different containers for 11 different types of waste. People really absorb it and take it on and I think we as a community need to do that and that is our biggest challenge in really getting uh, to grips I think with the circular economy. The technology, things like micro factories are now there ready to be exploited by industry. We're looking to transform some of the most complex waste materials like glass, textiles, coffee into value-added products. I think the main challenges in transitioning to a circular economy are simply getting on with it. 